So, there are two people that I could not have been more blessed with and fortunate for having on staff that are retiring this year. And Becky is obviously one of those people. She is such a loving, sweet, and supportive person. I think God knew what I needed before I did six years ago if I was going to be as successful as a principal. And that was the support and wisdom of Becky. That wisdom of hers well started in 1976 as a substitute teacher working in small rural schools in Eastern Washington. Places with names like Colfax, Garfield, Mozilla, and Palouse, working in such places with those names it was only a matter of time before she would find a city with two of those names, see the Woolies. She has a total of 38 years of classroom experience. She has directed a high school band, helped put out a fire in an agriculture classroom, she was willing to set up any job and said help polish her teaching survival skills. She has taught everything from kindergarten to seniors, and yes, I would say even one elementary school principal. <laughs> Becky is an avid figure skater who moved, was, who moved through in 1979 and started seven years. She took three years off to be with her babies and started subbing again until 1985 when she was hired on a contract because suddenly too many kindergartners appeared on the first day of school and the district had to hire another teacher. So as far as Daryl was concerned, I guess we saw the whites of her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> she taught kindergarten and then third grade for about six years and then did about 12 years of grouping in second and third grade. She still has wonderful connections with those students and their families. Eventually, she moved to Mary Bissell as a title teacher, and I believe filling in, or filling the left, the void left by none other than her husband, Dave Walsh. When asked what has been the rewarding aspect of her position, that he stated, growing professionally. Feeling each year I'm better at what I do, and reflection, this however also leads to regret. I wish I could have some of my, my earlier students back again. However, Becky, I think you have done no wrong in every child in the When asked what a funny story so she could share about herself, well, in 38 years, there would be too many. But for her, there was a favor. And that was meeting a student at the door each morning with a thermometer and assuring her that she would be okay that day. <laughs> she helped her the student's constant visits to the nurse's office. This continued on for about seven days with the thermometer. Finally, the student looked at Mrs. Welch and said, I will be okay. And that moment was a success. <laughs> Becky loved thinking outside the box and problem solved in most situations and ended up tickling her. When asked by the staff, what would you like me to say about Becky? Tender, kind, caring, compassionate sums up Becky. Becky loves children of all ages. Becky believes in children and believes children can achieve their, two, their true potential. Becky is very warm and comforting, and she is often a mom to many young teachers here at school. Becky is extremely dedicated and always true to her school. She is one of the biggest Coop fans ever. Go Coops! Go Coops! And the list goes on. Becky's children went to Mary Marcel, and now her grandchildren are following in her footsteps. What does Becky plan on doing after June 16th? Enjoying time with family, volunteering where else at Mary Bissell, and spending time in her grandchildren's classes. She plans on traveling, meeting up with old friends, relaxing, and de-stressing. Now, however, at this particular moment in time, I was actually going to read the retirement letter, but my boss, up here, <laughs> prior to this, so I'm a big blank spot right now. <laughs> Becky, I, what I do know though, on June 16th, there was only going to be one winner that day, and that's Dave Welch, because he gets to spend the rest of his time with me. <laughs> Becky, there wasn't one day in six years that I haven't trusted you for all of you know about. two when it comes to principals, but I won't tell him which he is, one or two. <laughs> uh, 
of having worked in education this long, you know, you end up with a lot of stories. But I just want to share one with you because when you are here this long, um, things come full circle. Um, I had a wee girl in second grade many years ago, and she could be a real corker. She could also be very delightful. But many times she needed a, just a firm and consistent guideline and many reminders. But one day she was being especially delightful, and I was feeling very frustrated. So as often happens, my brain slipped out of the box, as Mike mentioned, and off the cuff I went to my grade book and dramatically flipped through the pages found her page and the emergency information and said, your name is, your mom's name is, your dad's name is, your address is, your phone number is, you were born, but no place on this page does it say you are a princess. <laughs> well, um, that wee girl was with me for two years and she got the mark on my heart. We saw each other now and then as she progressed through the grades. And when she learned that she was going off to WSU, go Coots, she came to let me know. We've continued to stay in touch. And here's where the full circle comes around. She worked with me last year after she graduated from WSU. And if she'll let me, I'll say her name right now. Yeah. Caitlin Vanderbeen, who is now working with the district. And Thanks, Katie. Thanks, Cedar Willie.